My name is uh, Lebo Mutsekwa. I'm a managing director here at a company called Fashizi. Uh, what we basically do here, we do a lot of research into the market. We go into Africa, do a lot of work as well in South Africa, where we're basically trying to open marketing opportunities for our clients. Tenderpreneurship is not entrepreneurship. Tenderpreneurship, if anything, it has actually killed entrepreneurship. As I said earlier, that people tend to think that just because they've registered a company, they now have to sit there and just wait for a tender. There is no such a thing. You know, um, if anything, you're supposed to actually build uh, your first business uh, based on your skills. Obviously, having noticed a gap in the market, it's got to be based on your skills. Therefore, there's a passion to it. Um, thereafter, you can venture to all sorts of other business, but tender partnership is not necessarily the way to say uh, it's, it's, it's not good business. That 14% VAT on your invoice is not your money, it's a tax man's money. So the best thing to do is actually open a separate account so that every invoice that is issued, that 14% that gets paid, you take that 14% to put in a different account. Because then you tend to get a false illusion that uh, that 14% uh, is yours, and actually it's not yours, it belongs to the taxman. You gotta separate yourself from the business. You are not the business. So your business account is not your personal uh, account. So you must have your own salary aligned to what is it that you are doing for the company. So in other words, if you are going to hire someone to be the managing director of your business, how much would you be paying them? And that's your salary. That's the salary you should be taking. And then that salary should have KPI too. So you gotta have your own contract with your own business to say these are the things that I'm supposed to be doing within the business. Is that you must always have four months of your running cost in your account. So you can never be, before you start saying you're making money, you gotta have at least a minimum of four months running cost in, 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 in your business account. Therefore, you gotta watch the cash flow you know, uh, in terms of uh, that money. Avoid wastage. It's to know the difference between spoiling yourself and tricking yourself. Those are two big differences. You know, spoiling yourself is, is, is constantly having to take the money from the company and buying fancy things, fancy cars, fancy whatever. That's not the way to do things. If you want to treat yourself, yes, you have every right to treat yourself. You work hard, so you have to treat yourself. But can we make that at the end of the, of the financial fiscal? Where you say, here's your dividends and then boom, go and treat yourself. Don't, don't, don't set limits to yourself. Um, as cliche it sounds that sky is the limit. Actually, sky is not actually the limit. You can go way out of there. We are doing business now in Africa. Um, had you asked me this 10 years ago, did I actually think that we'll start saying to you, we got operations in Nigeria, Botswana, Kenya. I would have said no. But upon the, the years, one has realized that there's opportunities out there, things that did not even make it to our business plan. But now we realize that there's gaps out there in the market and they're looking for this the typical for she's the signature of the way we do things, which is understanding black people from their own context. Their context. So, uh, you know, don't set limits uh, for, for yourself. And lastly, if there is no money, get creative.